Hey guys, good evening. I'm PL. I'm a cosmetic formulator. I formulate hair products, skincare products that are for the face and for the body. Okay, you guys have been seeing my previous videos of my night routine, like when I'm using retinol, and my night routine when I want to rejuvenate my face when after abandoning my face for a very long time. In that video, so I used a lot of products, products to um uh, I use the hydrating face wash, I use the brightening scrub. I use the clay and oh, you guys, if you have watched it, you already know the products I use. So today I'm also doing a night routine. You know when you start using skincare products, right? It depends. Sometimes it depends on how your skin feels like. It must not always be something that you have to do all the time because there are some products you don't use all the time. So when you start using it, for instance, you use retinol two nights per week. Let's say in a week you use retinol two nights per week, which you are going to use the retinol night routine, which I showed you. But then you'll be reusing it, including the dark spot cream, if you have dark spots. If you don't have dark spots, just that routine is okay. It's okay. But if you have dark spots, then after applying retinol, like I said in the video, you apply a dark spot cream only on your dark spots, then you seal your oil. But if you don't have dark spot, using just the three products are okay. Now, since you are using retinol twice per week, now the days you are not using retinol you have to have a different skincare routine definitely because retinol is not an every night product it's not an everyday product especially when you're just on starting so today i'm showing you guys a type of routine of when maybe your simple night routine when you're not using retinol not a routine where you want to rejuvenate or when you want to bring back your face to life it's a simple routine okay at night there are days which you can decide to use the hydrating face wash but now you know you have an exfoliating face wash which is not anything that has to do with retinol you have an exfoliating face wash which you're supposed to use twice per week okay use twice or twice per week it depends on your skin some people have to use it just once but i use it twice per week retinol twice per week okay when you're starting so this night i'm using the exfoliating face wash i'm not using hydrating face wash but you can always use hydrating face wash as well if you have already exfoliated your face but i have not exfoliated my face so i'm using the exfoliating face wash i'll use the exfoliating face wash and you know when you're using the exfoliating face wash you do not really need a toner if you want you can still use a toner but if you don't want you can leave the toner out remember i told you guys the toner is to bring your skin's ph to around 4.5 now an exfoliating face wash has a ph of around 3.5 to 4.5 do you get so that's why you do not really need a toner when using the exfoliating face wash or when using the scrub and then you want you want to apply the cream you do not need anything that has to do with exfoliating you do not really need a toner so I'll be using the exfoliating face wash tonight because I've not used it the whole of this week. And then after that, I'm going to go straight to my hydrating cream, the azelaic acid cream, because I'm not using retinol tonight. Remember, I told you guys a day cream can be used in the morning and at night. You can be used at any time. But when you have retinol, you can always use retinol at night and then use the day cream. I'm using this too. And then for tonight, I want to show you guys how you should apply your dark spot cream. I'm using the dark spot cream as well. I'll show you guys. Remember your dark spot cream, you should use it morning and evening. You should use your dark spot cream morning and evening if you want your dark spots to finish very fast. And again, since you're using an exfoliating product that will help to shed dead skin cells, using the dark spot cream will make it to work even faster. And then I'm going to use my oil. I always love to seal my moisture. That's just me. I like it. So I'm going to use my oil. If you want if you want you can use your vitamin c serum vitamin c serum can be used at any time of the day as long as you're not using retinol because this vitamin c which i use i will not it doesn't really match well with retinol because of the ph retinol is at six but this vitamin c which i used in here because there are different types of vitamin c this one which i use here works at a ph of 4.5 to 5.5 while retinol works at six that's why vitamin c serum is not really really necessary when you're using the retinol at that time you can always use it in the mornings with your sunscreen and the other products but like I said, if you want, you can use the exfoliating face wash, use your, your vitamin C serum, your azelaic acid cream, dark spot cream, and oil. For this, you're not using retinol. But today, I'm not using vitamin C. It's my choice. I just don't want to use vitamin C today, this night. It's just my choice, okay? If you have dark spot, serious dark spot, use your vitamin C morning and evening if you have serious dark spots use your dark spot cream morning and evening whether you're using retinol or not use your dark spot cream for vi these vitamin c's no need using it with retinol because they don't really match together 
you have different types of vitamin C derivatives. This one doesn't match. There are others that match. Okay. So, like I said, I'm using four products tonight. Exfoliating face wash, as I like acid cream, which is the day cream which can be used at night. Dark spot cream. Then I'm going to seal with my emollient, my oil. Sorry guys, I'm, I'm not feeling good. This change of weather has been affecting me so much. Actually, I'm sick as I'm talking to you guys right now. The things I'm about to do, sales, I want to really show you guys all the how to use all the products so that you can decide on which product to buy during the sales. I even have one on my leaves here due to the change of climate. Like, I feel I'm so cold. I have cough. I have catar. If you notice, my voice might even have been changing. That's if you can notice. So we are going straight to the routine. As usual, you wash your hands face. I'm going to use this to wash my hands. <laughs> so I'm going to wash my hands. I have to use warm water today. So I've washed my hands. I'm going to apply my exfoliating face wash. The acne exfoliating face wash, it can be used by everybody. It just depends on you. If you have my exfoliating shower gel, no need for this. You can just use my exfoliating shower gel on your face and on your body. But if you want, if you have acne, you can get the exfoliating face wash. So I'm going to apply. My lips are so dry because of the weather. I've not been having time for myself, even to formulate products. I've not been having time to formulate. Massage for one minute. And then you rinse out. If you have sensitive skin, okay, if you have sensitive skin, because this face wash contains tea tree, and there are some people, their faces are very sensitive, so they are not supposed to allow it on their face for so long. So if you have sensitive skin, you can just apply it, massage for a while, like let's say 30 seconds to one minute, and you rinse out immediately. If you do not have sensitive skin, you can apply. Let's say you have, you have gone to shower at night, you just apply it. After you shower, you rinse out. But if you have sensitive skin, apply massage and rinse. I'm actually planning to remove this tea tree from the oil, actually from the face wash. I'm removing the tea tree in my next um, in my next bath because those with sensitive skin have been complaining about the sensation. You know, tea tree has a little bit of sensation when you apply. So I'm planning to remove it very soon. I do not want anybody to have anything bad with my products because my aim for formulating is to give you the best skin. So I do not want anything bad to happen to you when you're using my products. So because of that, I'll remove the tea tree from the exfoliating face wash. I'm moving it in my next batch. In fact, the batch you guys are going to buy during the sales will have will, won't have the sensation anymore. I do not feel the sensation because I do not have sensitive skin. I do not feel it at all. Because some of you have been complaining, I don't want complaints, I'll remove the tea tree. Besides, it has other anti-inflammatory and acne ingredients that are not, does not give any sensation to your skin when you apply. It has a lot. Normally, I would have used salicylic acid as my exfoliant in this exfoliating face wash, but because I remember when I started this product i use salicylic acid almost everybody will use the product porch because salicylic acid it's a great product great but since everybody porch like most people when they started using it they will have pimples because salicylic acid even purges more than glycolic acid to me from what i've been noticing with my clients they complain of pimples because of the salicylic acid so i decided to remove salicylic acid from the face wash I do not want to hear the purging again because when clients are saying, hey, I'm getting more pimples, I'm disturbed. But they don't know that because they are removing excess, they are removing the excess sebum, it's actually acid because actually acid goes into your skin and removes the oils. You get So that's why they, they used to purge, but I just removed it because I do not want any wahala. I do not like issues. I do not like when anybody complains about my products. I remove it completely. Right now it has only AHA. Only AHA. I was thinking because I, in particular, I'm someone who loves salicylic acid. I was thinking maybe I should make a salicylic acid serum so that people who love salicylic acid and know the importance of salicylic acid will buy the serum to use. Because, like I said, most people who started using it when I just started formulating, because when I started formulating, I was using salicylic acid at 2%. Most people used it, they purge a lot. I myself, I even purge, you get. But for me, I knew why I was purging, but clients, they don't understand this. So. 
I finally removed the salicylic acid from it. I was like, maybe I should put 0.3% salicylic acid in the aha. I just didn't want to holler. So I've been talking, it's been about two minutes now. Look how glowy my face is with the face wash. I don't feel any sensation because I do not have sensitive skin. But look how glowy my face is just with the exfoliating face wash. And it feels smooth. Honestly, it feels smooth, very hydrating. I don't joke in my face wash. I put a lot of moisturizers in my face washes. I do not want it to dry your skin. My face feels nice. So I've been talking, I'm sure it has been on my face for almost three minutes now. I'm going to rinse it off, okay? Remember, if you have sensitive skin, you can leave it for one minute and rinse off. If you do not have like me, you can leave it and even stay with it throughout the day. You don't have issues, okay? So I'm going to rinse it off. So guys, I've just rinsed my face. Oh my God, see the glow. Hey, see! From the face wash. This face wash is very good. It's just that since I used salicylic acid before and many people purge using the salicylic acid. When I say purging, I mean they have more pimples because salicylic acid actually targets your oil, the oil part of your of your of your dermis, like below your skin. That's why since it targets that oil part, it now removes uh, excess sebum and which gives those more pimples when you start to use it. After some time, the pimples goes. I promise you. I also faced that when I started using it. But because I do not want people to keep complaining. Oh dear, your, people, your products are giving me pimples. I always just ask them, please just stop the face wash. So because of that, I just changed it and started using AHA. But I really love salicylic acid. I love it so much. Honestly, I love salicylic acid more than glycolic acid, lactic acid. Salicylic acid is so good for the skin. If you have acne, salicylic acid is a must. Anyway, I have some products with salicylic acid, but very, very low because of how I love it and I know you guys love it. And I've not gotten any complaint from it. It's very low. I put just 0.5% in the product I'm talking about. And you guys use it every day. And I've not gotten any complaint from it. So you shouldn't worry. Don't even bother trying to buy any salicylic acid product because I have it in one of my products which you guys use every day and I've not gotten any complaint. I've not gotten any complaint from that product. <laughs> so after rinsing out the face wash, like I said, I'm not using toner today and I don't want to use vitamin C serum. You can use vitamin C serum if you have excess dark spots or if your face is darker than your body, you can use vitamin C serum. But as you can see my face, my body has, they are okay. Just the few dark spots I have. Apart from that, you see, not a great deal. <laughs> so I'm going to apply my Azalei Acid Face Cream. If you want a pamper routine, you just pamper yourself. If you do not want, just massage, no problem. Do not forget your eye areas to avoid dark circles. Dark circles most times because of dry, dry eye area. And maybe some of you guys are always stressed and all that. A few of you have asked me to do an eye cream and I've been thinking I've already do, but <sighs> guys, I formulate a lot of products. I formulate 50, almost 50 products, to be frank with you all. Everything I use on my body, hair, everything I make them, I formulate them. So sometimes when people keep saying, please do this, do this, I get tired. I'm like, okay, I will, I will, I will. That's why you see most times I take my time. You see, I just move one product. I'm working on another one. I'll test this. You no, know, uh, uh, bring out another product. That's what I've been doing. Others say I should make um hand cream. Normally, my body butter and body lotion can be used as hand cream, but then another for a hand cream, you need a little, a smaller container which you can work around with it, so that each time you wash your hands, you reapply your cream. And if you have a hand cream, honestly, you don't really have dark spots. Cause, I mean, you you will not have dark knuckles because dark knuckles most time if you are not bleaching, most time dark knuckles will be due to dry, dry hands. And also, when applying products on your hands, make sure you apply it on your dark knuckles. Take your time because you just voop, voop, voop. You don't really massage it into your dark knuckles. I know your knuckles are pleated. You see, they are pleated. So when you just go, you do like this. It doesn't penetrate into your dark knuckles. So always make like this. 
apply your body cream when you when you finish our apply your body cream body lotion on your dark room because i'm talking too much so guys let's continue with our routine now i'm applying the dark spot cream you guys know how dark spot here right it's even finishing the video i did previously i did it i think last week but you can see it's almost it's getting lighter you cannot see it as much as you were seeing in the other videos right so apply it on my dark spot here because like i told you guys this dark spot cream is a bleaching cream if you apply it continuously for a month your face might change the color of your face might change from your body so if you have dark face you can use this all over your face to mean to bring back your face to your body but actually yeah, this dark spot cream now i told you guys i have dark spots here but it's almost like my skin tone because you know after treating dark spots you somehow have like scars because i've had this for a very long time so this will take a long time to really become like this other part so but i always apply i'll just apply here i'll just apply around the area you see when you look at me like that you can see it's darker than my feet than my face but it's not too dark because i always apply dark spot cream but unfortunately this dark spot cream is out of stock and i'm having difficulties getting the ingredients I had that spot just here. Since I always pinch this place, I also apply the dark spot cream around here for the dark spots I usually have when I pinch. I've applied my dark spot cream. You see, so you see that the dark spots will be coming, will become like my skin tone. If I apply it all over my face, this place will become lighter than the dark spot. The dark spot cream will be coming lighter. But since there's no dark spot, there's no dark spot here, this part will be lighter than the dark spot. Which is not going to really show a difference of you treating your dark spots so that's why you target the dark spot so that you can reduce the melanin on that place and then it will become like this place that's why i always advise if you do not want to bleach just portray the bleaching product the dark spot cream on your dark spot now my oil i'm going to seal the moisture First of all, you apply the hydrating cream first, the azelaic acid cream first, since it's a hydrating cream. It also brightens the skin, but it takes a while because it's not put a lot of brightness in it. You get so now you apply the hydration first, the hydrating cream first, so that this other dark spot cream work well. Products work on your skin better when your skin is hydrated. That's why I apply the dark spot, the hydrating cream for you apply the dark spot cream. Do not apply dark spot cream before hydrating cream. Make sure you hydrate first, then you apply the treatment okay now i'll seal with oil i'll seal because i've applied in some parts i don't want to if i do this i'll take the dark spot cream and come around here so i'm going to do it like this in order to seal see So now my dark spots will be coming lighter and will be like my skin and you see you should you look like i have no dark spot on my face that's how i do it when my dark spots were really bad i used to use my dark spot cream morning and evening and i assure you within a week to two you will see that that place has become lighter okay so i just do this to seal the moisture and here is my face now have you noticed my dark spot has actually reduced from last week when you exfoliate right when you exfoliate like last week i used the i used the brightening scrub when you exfoliate your face you regenerate your skin cells therefore even reducing the dark spot because new skin cells are coming out when you use peels i also have face peel peel does what it peels up the first layer therefore going to the second therefore the second layer is not as dark as before it's all regeneration when you use exfoliating products you are regenerating your skin so these are natural ways of you treating your dark spots without using anything lightening or bleaching but when you want fast results you have to always apply um these ingredients like this glycolic acid peel scrub retinol and the dark spot cream which contains bleaching ingredients that will permit the dark spots to finish faster okay so you want faster way of treating your, i'll do it in the dark spot treatment routine but i'll just let you know that all this routine helps for your dark spot on your skin now after i'm using imagine if the dark spot has reduced within like a week of me doing the, the previous video meanwhile i've not honestly i've not used a dark spot cream i haven't since that time i'm being sometimes i'm lazy because my skin is in a better place you get so imagine this part has become lighter 
Now imagine what what would have surely happened with this part because I used a scrub all over my face. Do you guys understand the skincare technology or skincare things I'm trying to explain? Yes. So that's it. So guys, unfortunately, I have an issue with the dark spot cream. I know this one cream that you, most of you like because it brightens your face. Though sometimes after it has brightened your face a lot, you guys start to reduce it because it really brightens your face very fast. A week, you start seeing the clients will even said the next day. But unfortunately, this product is out of stock. The reason why it's out of stock is that the powders, the whitening powders which I used to use, I used to buy from a company who has customized the powders. Like they have mixed powders, whitening powders together. And they were selling unfortunately they are not selling anymore because of that i've not been able to formulate that spot cream that's why most of people have been asking is it available i said no you come make after 10 days i said no i've been struggling to get them but unfortunately i cannot get the whitening ingredients so right now what i'm doing is i'm trying to make a new dark spot cream using my own ingredients like glutathion vitamin c alpha butene just like the lightening serum it's just that the dark spot cream it lightens the skin faster than the lightening serum you see because the lightning serum was all my own initiative but with this one and the whitening uh, uh, ingredients i used was a customized mixed whitening powders which i used to buy unfortunately i cannot get it that's why i have a headache most of you have been in my team i don't even know what to do anymore someone said i should send mine to her <laughs> so anyway don't worry i'm doing a new dark spot cream formulation since unfortunately i'm frustrated I don't have the those whitening exact whitening powder, so I mean this shit. I really wish I had it before. The, I had it during the sale so that you guys will see fast results when using my product. But unfortunately, right now I do not have. So I'm working on something. If uh, if I try it and it works before the sales, I'll sell. If it doesn't, I'm really sorry. It will not be available even during the sales. I'm sorry about this, but don't worry, don't worry. I've been selling the dark spot cream for two to three years. That's why I don't really like to buy customized things and that's why I don't like to give my formulas to or tell a company to produce products for me because I'm always like when the products when the company is no longer there, what will happen with my clients? All the other products you see I do I do them out of my in initiative. I research the ingredients and then I mix, I try and I sell. But this one has been a worry, it's been a, an issue for me. <sighs> I'm really sorry, my people. I'm very, very sorry, but don't worry, trust me. I'm working on something for now what you can do is you can be using the vitamin c serum or the lightening serum together with my scrub it will also reduce the, the dark spots but then it's not as fast you know with the dark with the scrub and the lightening serum or vitamin c serum you can start to see results within two weeks but when at first when you use those two with the dark spot pain you see results within three to one week three days to one week so that's just the difference but i'm working on something okay i'm working on something for you all and don't worry if I bring the next one, it will work the same like this, okay? I think I'll be talking some more. So this is my final skincare routine. Like I said, I use just the exfoliating face wash, the azelaic acid cream, dark spot cream, and oil. I always, this is my routine. And if you have a routine like this all the time, I'm telling you you have a healthy skin. Sometimes when you start, you might have issues. Because you are introducing something new to your skin, which your skin is still trying to understand. But once your skin gets used to, you will have a very good skin. Except for your diet. Except you eat wrongly. Except you eat things you are allergic to that gives people. Except your lifestyle. If it's your skincare routine, I'm telling you. I'm a witness. Though I'm selling it. I will not tell you something is good when it's not. I'm very honest, 100% genuine with my, my products. Sometimes when you guys come and complain about a product, if I know it's my product, I'll ask you, did you use this? How did you use this? Because I know yeah, this product can do this if you don't use it the right way. You get it. I'm very honest with my products. One thing you have to know about PL is that she's genuine. Everything I say, I tell you how it is. And, how, and when, when I tell you how it is, when you use that, how it is. Sometimes it might not work fast for you because everyone is different. But that is what it is. And you can maybe use it twice, try it before you see that result. But I tell you exactly what it is in my skincare line. So whatever I say, know that it is the truth. Sometimes it's not only because of me, but also because I saw, I get these reviews, I get these complaints, I get all these things. So I know which product is this, which product is that, 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 that. Sometimes maybe someone will come and complain and I'm trying to find out what went wrong. And maybe the person might think I'm trying to defend myself. No, I do not defend myself. I'm trying to get to know what is wrong, what you have done wrong, what product is causing that issue so that you can stop it. 
but so that you can change the way you use it that is why i ask questions when you guys come and complain on anything i don't ask because i want to blame you no i ask in order to help you fix it if they are my products i will let you know tell you okay stop this product don't use this maybe you're allergic to this one stop it that is it or use it like this if you use it every day i'll say no use it once use it twice you get but everyone's skin is different so guys i've talked so much today <laughs> i know the video is long you guys should pardon me I'm, I'm always doing long videos but at least i'm sure you guys learn something in each of my videos even those who are not buying my products i'm sure at least you learn some things in my videos though they are long i'll try to see what i'm shortening if i can <laughs> anyway goodbye guys good night